down beside me Babe, I can't admit that we're going nowhere One last time, let's go, dear Lay it down beside me Mamma mia! Eat it. This is the car to have the windows down. I agree. Who the f is that? Oh, that's just here. Oh. I might. There's a car wash near Bennett. Yeah. Look. So Nima. Yeah. Why are we spending the one sunny day we have in Como? Wash your car. So this stuff you're putting on, yeah. does that magically make this into an M5? I have Aperol Spritz in the car, we're terraced, the sunbathed on, and the one bit of sun we're going to get this entire weekend, and we're doing this. See that car? This is the sort of meddling that put us in this position in the first place. The man's got an addiction, a dangerous sexual addiction to BMW. Covered his car in what can only describe as automotive baby batter. Hello guys and welcome back to Car Chaps. Today we're at Villa Urba for Concorso di Eleganza. We're here to see an amalgamation of the best the motor industry has to offer, mainly some old BMWs and some other rubbish that I don't really think that's important. <laughs> Let's get stuck in. To me, all the cars here are lovely, but I would 100% pick this. 2.9 litre V8 twin turbo. The sweet spot of era of Ferrari for me, where it's modern yet classic, and I think I would kill a baby. So this rather than yours on a cold Sferini then? Yes. Honestly, <laughs> I, there's not much that I would take over an F40. Fair enough. Just think small displacement, 
Ferrari V8. Mm. There's just nothing beats that. Massive lag. Yeah. Exciting. Love it. Yeah. Could kill you. Mm. Love it. Just like my wearing. So I can't pick one car in here, so I'm going to give you a sweep. I mean, you've got the Vega here, which despite being rare and French and not as glamorous as everything else here, will give you that big dick energy at any car meet. You have the Merchelago GT1, which is just insane. The GTB, uh, 599 GTB, I should say. Incredible value on the used market now. I don't know what this list price is, but it's been around like 70 to 100 grand, which, I mean, pay 100 grand, otherwise you're gonna get a lot of problems. You've got a Diablo pre-facelift here, which is my preference over the clear Perspex glass ones. I think that's a 330 GTB at the end, which was Enzo Ferrari's personal choice of car. Five-speed manual. Yeah. Straight six from the CSL. I think it's 3.6 litres. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. 274 brake horsepower. That's a shame these never were a success. Because they, they built these with Group 4 racing and no one ever really bought Wasn't one. Wasn't it in conjunction with Lamborghini? I think because they couldn't actually facilitate all the production, so they collaborated with Lamborghini, which is such an amazing combination. Especially side by side here. Sorry, I'm just getting a bone of what is that? I think it's a Ferrari over there, sorry. Sounds on. amazing. Anyway. But yeah, it's unbelievable. And it's just like so on BMW. You've got the roundels on the back, which look amazing. It all looks very original. American one here. And I've always loved them. I thought it's such an un BMW thing to do. It looks understated yet with this garish orange, which they used to get on the GTS E92, I think. The, the stripped out version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fantastic. And these wheels as well, which are so 70s, it hurts. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I didn't really like this at first. And then slowly I've grown to it. And it's kind of, it is classic BMW without it being classic BMW. Exactly. That's what I love about it. And of course, these are the pro car over there, but it's pro car racing, which mm. really put this car on the map with Lauda, PK, all the Grand Prix drivers doing a race before the Grand Prix on that morning. They even used it as a safety car. Do you and they used it on a safety in, um, car in Monaco. In the, what's it called? BMW Museum. Absolutely. Very cool. So, very cool car. I love it. While this may seem worlds apart, this actually shares uh, heritage with the E38 7 Series, as the V12 in this is found in uh, the 750. That is such a wide stretch. How did you manage to get it back to your old BMW? Well, that's what, what can I say? It's well, the best. This is, world. of course, the McLaren F1 GTR that raced at Le Mans in the mid 90s. Funny thing about the McLaren F1, now they're worth silly money. Like there isn't actually a guy price on them now. They're probably 30 million plus, especially for the GTR version. But back in the day, they actually couldn't sell them. It was just after the early 90s financial crash and they actually had to make these racing versions just to try and glamorize the car and flog more models, which is kind of crazy to think now in 2020. To be fair, you just have to tell me it's related to a 750 and I'll buy it. <laughs>